So we're at North Ave Beach today. Just want to give you guys a brief demo of uh, how this ball box kiosk works. Um, when you go to the screen, you're presented with two options, rent or return. You hit rent. If you're a new user, you hit new user. You're uh, required to fill out your full name, phone number, and PIN. Um, but since I have a profile, I would just rent with my existing profile. You go to the kiosk, enter your number. Seven. Uh, when you sign into your profile, you'll see any existing packages that you have open. You can come back and open the locker at any time. Uh, since I don't have any rentals out right now, I will rent a new package. Um, you can see a variety of different items displayed here. If you hit detail, a bigger picture and a description comes up. Um, so, you know, users can get a better idea of what they're getting. Um, you know, items in the kiosk can vary from, you know, inflatable unicorns, uh, sort of just inflatable toys in general, paddle boards, beach sets, spike ball, can jam, and uh, just about anything you can think of. Um, right now, for, you know, demos purposes, I'll just rent a soccer ball. So I'll select on it, I'll hit next. Um, you have two options, you can rent hourly or purchase a day pass. Um, I'll hit day pass and then continue to check out. Here is the late fleas that are displayed. You can hit pay now, um, check off and sign uh, the terms and conditions. Um, I'll go back here actually. So you have the option to save your payment information. Uh, so if you'd like to access the kiosk without a credit card, uh, you can save your payment information and access it just with your phone number and PIN. And I'll hit pay right here. We'll be prompted to uh, accept the charges here on the pin pad. We can tap our card. And then you are prompted to get items. So your locker door will pop open. Your soccer ball will be in here. Um, once you take out the soccer ball, you are required to do a little uh, condition check. So once you hit review items, the software and the cameras will take pictures of uh, the items and it kind of uh, records through that entire process. You rate the condition of the item and uh, then your rental is complete. So um, you have the option to come here and view your account or you can sign out. If you view your account, you can open the locker at any time to access the product you want or store your personal items in there. Um, and if you are done with your rental, you hit return item, so I'll hit return. You're given a display of all the late fees, the locker door pops back open, you put your item back in, close it, and you can hit review item again. Um, here's a picture that we're, we just have up so we can get uh, some social media content, you know, if people have a good time, they can throw a thumbs up up and uh, show that they enjoyed using ball box. But uh, after you do your condition check, finish a return and uh, to retrieve your deposit back for your item. And that's, uh, that's how a ball box transaction goes from uh, start to finish. So uh, once you get here, you view your account, you see I have no active packages, you can hit sign out. So that's, uh, that's ball box in a nutshell. Um, hope to work with you guys in the future.